Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, we will do the after the pen for the final week of October. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, so like I like to do, I'm going to uh, insert some footage of the meals for the work week uh, for October 26th through the 30th. I'm really bad about filming on the weekends. I don't know why. And then when I'm done with that, I'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, lunch for today, Monday, October 26th, is some rice and steamed egg that I made in my Itaki lunch box. If you're interested in that video, it'll be posted by the time this goes up. I did add a slice of American cheese, you know, the kind of plastic wrapper, as well as some ketchup and sriracha in the cutest little tiny bottles I've ever seen. This is about half of the rice that I cooked. I will see how this gets me through and if it's enough, then I'll just save that rice for tomorrow. So yeah. Oh, and for breakfast, I just had coffee as per usual. I do have some grapes for later if I get hungry. I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today is Spam and Egg Congee or juk or rice porridge. I think they're all about the same uh, with some french fried onions at the top. I did make this in my Itaki Shibuki and if you are interested in uh, that video should be loaded up by the time this goes up. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, October 28th and lunch is pretty international. So this past weekend we had some Samoan Sapasui, which is a long rice dish, which is that, <clears throat> but I'm eating it cold and added some Asian dressing and some gochujang to make it more like a Korean chapche. I've tasted it. It tastes nothing like a Korean chapche, but it's not bad. And then we had some leftover pork adobo. So I made some pork adobo fried rice with a fried egg. And for breakfast, I just had a cup of coffee. And that is the international leftover lunch. <laughs> For today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Thursday, October 29th is French bread pizza. My brother and I were talking about it the other day and it sounded good. We actually picked up the French bread from Sam's Club and before I broiled it in the oven, I did grill the bread with some butter, uh, garlic, salt, and Parmesan cheese just to give it a bit of a crust. Plus it's a few days old, so just to bring it back to life a little bit. And then I topped it with some spaghetti sauce. The one that my family likes is quite sour, bitter, tart, I don't know. So I sweetened it up with a little bit of sugar. And then uh, we didn't have mozzarella cheese, so that's actually just a piece of Havarti cheese that I've broken up to fit the bread. Those were the... So this is half of two pieces that were in the bag. The other half I made for my dad. And uh, his is exactly the same, although I didn't sweeten up his sauce because he doesn't like sweet spaghetti sauce. And then we had some pepperoni in the cupboard and then I covered it in Parmesan cheese, you know, the kind from the green bottle. And then I have some dill pickles. Now I don't generally eat pickles and pizza together, but I had taste for both pickles and pizza, and I thought, well, I mean, why not? For breakfast, as I've been doing, it was just a cup of coffee. I found that ranch dressing in the fridge. I don't know from when, and I don't know if it's still good, but I do like pizza and ranch, so I will test that out before I actually start lunch, but that is lunch for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday, October 30th, last work day in October, and, um, my brother had a doctor's appointment on, and on his way home, he picked up bentos. So this is a breakfast bento from Zippy's. It's got sticky white rice, scrambled egg, a Spam that I've cut up, Portuguese sausage, and corned beef hash. Yeah, it is absolutely deluxe. I put some soy sauce on the egg, ketchup and Tabasco in the corner there, and it's about 11 o'clock, so this is probably gonna be a late breakfast since all I had was coffee and slash early lunch. And then I'll probably have a snack later on. And if I remember, I'll film that 
Uh, but yeah, that's deluxe breakfast slash lunch for Friday, October 30th, the last work day of October. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Hey guys, so it's still October 30th, Friday, and my afternoon snack is a chocolate-centered donut my brother bought from Zippy's. That's the same place we had breakfast from. And then yesterday he had picked up Starbucks and so I just kept mine in the fridge and it is a venti vanilla cold brew and uh, It actually still has the ice from yesterday as soon as it comes home um, By the time he got home it was too late for me to have a coffee So I put it in the fridge and it just as lovely and delicious as it would have been yesterday now that is it for me for today well at least for um, brunch, lunch, and snack. I think we're having chicken soup for dinner, but I'll see you guys next week. Hope you had or have a great weekend. Okay, so this is the week that we were actually kind of testing something out. So uh, I know I just brought you guys back, but hold on for just a second. Okay, so the desk space is small. I hope this isn't too hard for you guys to see. But for this week, what I had planned to do was I wasn't going to designate a certain amount of space like I have done pretty much every single week because I wanted to see how it would go if I just wrote until I didn't want to write anymore. And this is what it looked like. So Monday through Wednesday here, Thursday through Sunday here. It is Sunday, the 1st of November. I've already finished this one up here. Um, and when I flip through the beginning, I'll show you some things that I still need to do. But I really, I really liked this. And when I say that it's a tester, that's how I'm going to be doing this. Now, because I've already journaled for Sunday, but I want my, um, happy journal and that's actually what I'm going to be calling this to encompass the entirety of November I did uh, go back and move Monday to here and I'm just going to give myself that amount of space but then for the rest of Monday through Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday through Sunday um, I'll see if this is enough space if it's too much space I will deal but this was sort of a tester but it wasn't that great of a tester because I only still had this amount of space this one right now I've told myself well you've got what four pages but because I'm inserting this and it isn't book bound like this if I decide you know what I'm gonna write for three pages next week Saturday then I can just keep inserting pages and I think I'm well I'm not sure if I'm gonna love it or if I'm gonna hate it but it does give me a lot more flexibility and so this is kind of what um, I was testing with this one here and we'll do an after the pen for this uh, later next week when I actually have something to talk about. <laughs> but I did like that. I did like that I could write. I liked writing on the brown um, scrapbook paper. I thought that looked good. You guys know I've been just using my Sarasa pen. And then I have fallen in love with this gold gel pen. And I think that is going to continue <laughs> into November. Um, I think for December, I think I might do more cool tones so that I can use my silver pen. And yeah, I'm, I'm trying to base everything off of a pen. <laughs> so let's flip through this beauty. You guys know that I love it. And I did make this uh, predominantly out of Happy Planner products, although there is quite a bit of scrapbook paper. This was a stamp, Teresa Collins sticker. Uh, I did some lettering. This was a file folder. It's really easy to do. For the Buddy Read, um, perfectly honest, I have not listened to any of the books yet, but uh, I plan to have today be a really uh, easygoing evening, and I'm going to listen them tonight while I do some crafting and I, I think I'm going to end my weekend that way. It's been a very relaxing weekend and then I'll send that to Miss Andy either tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm off on Tuesday and so it might be then. It just it, it just depends on um, timing for me really. This one I plan to do tonight um, and it'll probably be one of the last things that I do. The word of the day. Now I'm I've talked to you guys about this, that this would be sort of a mood tracker. And it kind of is, but it's not limited to moody words. 
<laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Like for instance, I got my Stology on the 2nd of October. And to me, just looking at that evokes excitement and anticipation and just wanting to play. I wasn't feeling well uh, the Saturday and the Sunday, that was a Saturday, uh, because my knees were hurting. And so there were some things that I normally would have done that I didn't. And so I just, I felt guilty all day because I, I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be. And so some of the words aren't mood words. Stew, that was a highlight of the day. My mom had made this beef stew. Her beef stew was always amazing. And yeah, that was the best part of that day. Now there are other things that happened in that day and I journaled about it, but that, it was the highlight. And that makes me happy and it makes me think about my mom and it just, it was, it was a good day. 13th, there was a roach in my office and I, it was huge. It was nearly the size of my head. No, it really wasn't. It was about the size of my finger. Uh, but it was gross and my boss had to come and save me and then I was just a little discombobulated for the rest of the day. Got some really upsetting news on the 15th and that just put me into rage mode uh, for all of the day. And then it, it just, when I see this, if I were to use just a mood type of word or an emoji, I don't know that it would encapsulate what I'm feeling or what I want to invoke. The 26th, 26th was actually a pretty decent day, was in the office. We were on our way home. My brother had picked me up and then I really had to drop the kids off at the pool. I mean, seriously. It was red flags, red flags, these kids need to go now. And so we had to make our way back to the campus because uh, that was the closest thing with a bathroom because, you know, in a pandemic, there's really no open bathrooms. And we live far enough away that that seemed very problematic if I were just to wait to, to get home. And so that was the, the word of the day, poop. <laughs> because, yeah, they... They were clamoring. They they were clamoring. The next day, I made a really good kanji out of my itaki pot. Um, I actually, for the rest of that evening and through Tuesday, because that's Monday, that's a Tuesday, I was feeling a little off. And so that just, it was the best part of my day. I know, it's really weird, but it really was. This love right here, that's the day that I put up the video about my planner channel and uh, the journey of my channel and you guys have just shown so much love and support to me that I, I had to put that down and so I really like that it's not necessarily a mood tracker but by looking at certain words I can remember the mood that I was in which kind of ties into what I would have journaled for that day I just I, I, I love that. I love that it isn't <laughs> what you would typically see in a mood tracker. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I know it's, it's really weird and probably a lot more information than you guys wanted to know. But, hey, I mean, you guys can read the page. <laughs> so it's not like anything's blocked out or anything. Yeah, the 26th with a poopy day. Not going to lie. <laughs> This here, I do want to read through this and see, do these things seem viable um, and move it over into my happy journal, which is my happy Nietzsche, my skinny classic. And so, I mean, at least it's down on a page and this I did do some brainstorming. And then from a week to week basis, again, it was a way for me to get out thoughts um, in my head, but it, for me, it doesn't have to always be, you know, about journaling my moods and self-reflections. Sometimes I'm just going to write bubbles. Sometimes it's just a stream of consciousness, and then when I read back on it, I'm like, wh where, where was your head? But the thought and the act of thinking about writing and writing is really relaxing to me. And so that's really what this has become is a sort of wellness journal and so I'll talk about my day or I'll talk about my feelings I had thought that I could separate my work me from my personal me but a lot of 
the residual feelings from work spill into my personal. It may not spill into my interactions with those in my personal life, but it, it, it makes me feel a certain kind of way. And so I've found that this helps put that down on paper and really just try to get out of my head. I don't do a lot of self-reflection. I don't read through this and try to think about how I could have handled it better or how I can change my reaction the next time. It really is just, I guess, more of a brain dump and then I'm just dumping things from my brain on a page. And then the satisfaction I get from seeing the writing on the page without actually reading what's on the page also is part of my wellness. Again, I don't know if any of that makes sense. Now I had thought that I would do a what didn't work and what did, but since I'm not making another one of these, uh, I don't know that I'm actually gonna be using that. I've already set up November in my happy journal. And so these are actually going to be empty pages. And I did bring this one out because this was August and September where I have empty pages here. And I, I know you guys have been asking and I promise I will do it, but this is where I will fill up to do some doodle tutorials, banner tutorials and things like that. So I can keep it into one place and also use up my products because while I'm not so stringent upon myself that if this were an actual planner and I saw empty pages that would bother me this is perfectly good usable paper but it's going to mess up the integrity of the booklet if I rip them out so I do want to use these and obviously I'm keeping them but that was the after the pen I am kind of going to miss these little booklets but I'm thinking that if I can get my act together well no that that seems very mean towards myself my act has always been together but my mood has to be in a, a creative mood and to film and sometimes those things just don't align but uh, if I do or when I do those videos and these get filled, um, I just might make some more of these sort of more art journal-y things for tutorial basis than for actual journaling basis. I don't know. I love that they're so small and portable. I love that they were just a creative process. And this one, I even now, even though we were at the end of October, I just, I love flipping through this. I love flipping through my happy journal. I'm so excited for November <laughs> so that I can play in my stuff. You guys, you guys don't even know. And the level of excitement that I'm feeling about getting into my products, honestly, I think even is more than when I discovered that the Skinny Classic Happy Nietzsche was really the perfect size for me. The, the level of excitement that I have now is just way, way more than that because I think I finally found a groove for me where it just makes it exciting to get into it and I can look at it and reflect upon it and just writing on a page and just, yeah. I just, <laughs> I'm so happy for November and there's so many vacation days or holidays this month and then there's Turkey Day and it's just, oh, November is going to be amazing. I know I just put the kibosh on that and it's going to be a horrible, horrible month, but that's okay. I've got a beautiful planner or journal. It's not a planner. I don't plan anything um, that I can play with and I look forward to playing with and I hope that you guys look forward to just sharing in that journey with me. All right, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.